while yes, the win was incredible and very impressive, what I was blown away with more than him winning was the reaction he got from the fans. Was how beloved he was from the gallery, not just on Sunday when he won, but really the entire week. He had a massive following. Everyone was rooting for him and wanted to see him succeed. And his turnaround from how he was viewed, I don't know, let's call it two years ago, when he was, I would say, the villain of the PGA, hated by most, including yours truly. I was not a Bryson fan whatsoever. I enjoyed, honestly, when he failed. Hated by golfers. He was, I would say, two years ago, the most hated man in golf, the most controversial, polarizing guy in golf that was disliked by a large, large majority of the golf fan base. Now, 24 short months later, he I would say right now he's a fan favorite. Behind Tiger Woods, I can't think of right now a golfer more beloved in this current age of the sport, more than DeChambeau. And I think Sunday, honestly, just, just kind of, Really brought that to light and really highlighted that. The guy is likable. I never thought I'd ever be saying that again. I was not someone who rooted for Bryson whatsoever. I took a lot of joy, honestly, in seeing him falter and seeing him melt down. What bothered me, I'm sure if you were not a Bryson fan a few years ago, is the same thing that bothered you. His arrogance, his cockiness, the way he carried himself. The way he acted like he knew better than everybody else that his way was the only way and everyone else that thought about golf, that played golf, that had a different style of golf, they were all dummies. They were idiots. They were setting the sport back. He was the only one progressing it. He was obsessed about, you know, launch, I mean, not launch angle, but swing angle and, and, and ball speed and flight and stiffness of the club and... The length of the club. He has the same length for every single club. Like, just the everything about him was a turnoff. Everything about him made you hate him. Honestly. He took forever, by the way, too. He's always sitting there analyzing, having all these numbers, speaking honestly with, with like a different language. So he carried himself in an arrogant, cocky way. He thought he knew better than every single person that played the sport before him and, and currently played the sport. And the results just weren't there. Outside of 2020, with the U.S. Open, he didn't have any other major victory. So he wasn't setting the world on fire, but he acted like he knew better. I don't know what the switch was. And maybe this, maybe this is it right here. But at least the timing coincided. When he went to lift, and was able to start his own YouTube channel. That's when his personality started to shine, and that's when his golf game got better. Like This is a guy now who, I mean, look at the three majors this year. Just won the U.S. Open. Finished second, one stroke behind Xander Shoffley at the PJ Championship, and tied for sixth at the Masters. The dude right now is dialed. I think Scotty Scheffler right now is the best golfer in the sport. Overall, if you want to include live guys. But Bryce is knocking on his door. With how well he is playing in the big events, he is knocking on that door. He has been tremendous. But watching him, it's very tangible. You could tell he's a different guy. He carries himself so much differently. He acts almost completely opposite how he did two years ago. And I really appreciate his answer. He's on the Golf Channel today after the round, after he won the U.S. Open. And he was asked basically what kind of led to those changes in your personality. Here's what Bryson had to say. There's been so much that I've learned. I couldn't say it in a, less than in 10, 15 minutes. But the one big thing that's stuck out to me is um, having the right people around you and making sure that those people just continue to push you, continue to push you in the right direction. And if anyone's struggling out there, make sure you go to a person that loves you and cares about you and wants the best for you and ask their true opinion on, of, of what's going on. Why, why am I not doing what I should be doing? And they're the, one, they're the ones that are going to be able to give you those hard but good answers to help you get right back on track in life and, and help you do good for the world. And that's, that's all I want to do for the game of golf is just continue to inspire and grow the game in multiple ways, different ways, and give back as much as possible. This game has given me way too much, way more than I deserve. And... Uh, Certainly just got to say thank you to everybody that supported me on this journey. It's been a crazy one, but a fun one. 
Like you, just that answer alone, he sounds like he's a human again. Like he was robotic in every way up until a year ago, two years ago. And how he carried himself and his mannerisms and his answers. And now he's like finally like let go. And it gets to the point now, I went from someone that hated him, that like rooted against him in the worst way, to now like rooting for him. I, I like I didn't expect to go into Sunday's final round rooting for him. Like I for me, my favorite golfer is Brooks Kepka. That's the really the only guy week in and week out I truly root for. I'll truly try to watch. Um and I want to see succeed. Everything else, you know, every other week, every other major that I'll watch it, you know, kind of depends on the storylines and who's playing well and, you know, how they're playing this year and maybe what you see on um full swing kind of, you know, kind of draws you to a golfer or two, but like I'm pretty fluid in terms of who I root for outside of of Kepka. And so it's like I didn't really expect, honestly, to be rooting for Bryson or even think that's a possibility. And it's like watching this week, it's like every day, it's like a little bit more like, okay, this guy's cool and he's likable and he's fun. And you see how he carries himself on the course. Like it's not just that he, like, he has clearly let go of something. I, I don't know what it was, but he is now like playing loose and free. You see it. On the course, I think his game is just better. But also, you see it off the course. We're like now he's to the point where like I, I don't see any other golfer interacting with fans during an event the way he is. I mean, he's on the back nine on Sunday of a major in contention, and he's stopping to sign autographs for fans. He's talking to fans. He's throwing balls to them. He makes sure, by the way, when the one scumbag a few weeks ago stole that stole a ball he threw to a young kid. It was an adult. That took the ball. He made sure he stopped in his tracks going from uh, one hole to another to make sure that the ball was returned to the kid he was initially trying to throw it to. Like, he now, I mean, he's a man of the people. I mean, hell, even after the ch- the, the title, he has a trophy. And instead of, you know, like 99% of golfers do, you celebrate with your friends, you celebrate with your family, you're on a jet to the next tournament. You know, maybe you go back to the rental house and have a few people over there, a few celebratory, you know, pops, brewskis. But he's there at the course parading through the fans and allowing them to touch the trophies they can feel, as he said, feel, you know, what a victor is like the way he's feeling. Like, it's it's mind-blowing how he has turned his perception a, a total 180 in the span of months, if not, you know, a year or two. But he's a different guy than he was before. And it is, honestly, a guy that I'm a big fan of. I like this Bryson. This seems, by the way, this doesn't seem like an act to me. I don't think he's putting on a show. This feels genuine. He truly is appreciating the fan support he gets. He's going out of his way to kind of reciprocate the love he gets and show that same love back to the fans. I get it's hard to do in the middle of a competition. I get it. I, I, like, I think first things first. You got to do whatever it takes for you to win. Don't say hi to me. Don't placate me. It means throwing you off. We all want to see our teams and players that we root for win and succeed. So whatever that takes for you to get in that spot to be uh, in the best position for you to have that success, I'm for. But with that said, if Bryson's able to do both, and he just showed you on Sunday he can, where he can interact with the fans and stay dialed at the same time and go win a major on Sunday... I don't tell you you can hate him. So, myself, I went from someone who was not a Bryson DeChambeau fan, wanted to see him fail as much as possible, to now watch how he carries himself, how you know how much more humble he is, how much more grateful he is, how he interacts with the fans. I'm a fan. I myself have turned a 180 on him because he has turned a 180 on himself in terms of how he carries himself and how he approaches the game, and I think also life as well. And that's something I can root for.